All right, I'm taking the bus. But this is not your typical bus. This is a hydrogen fuel cell bus. It's here in Toyota City. I'm in Japan of all places. This is gonna be at the next year's Olympic Games. I'm gonna tell you more about this bus. We can go for a ride and I'll tell you about, maybe this is the future of bus. All right, I just went for a ride in this new hydrogen fuel cell bus they're calling Sora. So this is really incredible. It's a fuel cell bus, it's electric power, so the acceleration on demand, you have regenerative braking, um, you can fit the same number of people that you can fit in a diesel bus. It's interesting because the price point is the same as a diesel bus with government subsidies. And they made improvements. So let me flip this around and I'll show you what's going on back here. So about the only noise you have is from the AC vents here and the heater vents, but normally it's a really quiet bus if that's not going. Um, and it runs on 200 miles of range. Again, same price as a diesel bus when you lease it out from Toyota. Hino does production of it, and you can get it from Toyota right now today. They're actually running in Tokyo. You get this ready for the, for the Olympic Games. The last thing is supply. Supply on this for hydrogen fuel. Toyota's working with the government right now in different places to make that hydrogen price the same as diesel price. So the fueling time is 10, 15 minutes, same as diesel. The amount to buy it, same price as a diesel. Uh, you're more quiet, people like it better, drivers like it better. Now their last pickle is working on supply and Toyota's working with the government to create more supply to make drop the price in hydrogen fuel. So we haven't been in a bus for a while, this is what a bus looks like. Um, one of the interesting things is usually right about here is the amount of space you have for people getting in the bus as far as the flat loading floor and storage space. But because they don't have a diesel engine back there, it, they are allowed to have more space move this back and then create more open space, more seating. This makes it a little bit easier for people loading in, uh, for elderly people coming in, and the bus runs quietly. So there's no noise. They can actually talk, the drivers can talk, and you don't deal with that noise problem. This Sora concept bus was unveiled October 18th of 2017, and it was meant to show how hydrogen fuel cell could be used in a commercial model. What happened was the Japanese government liked it so much that they ordered 100 of these for the Tokyo metropolitan area ahead of the Tokyo 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games. That means people flying into Tokyo, the athletes, the fans, Anybody who's going to be at the Olympic Games is going to be in this bus. And you notice it's very interesting. There's English language on the front of this bus that says fuel cell bus. And that was a point of discussion with the Japanese government, according to Toyota. Initially, that was in Japanese. But the Japanese government wanted the fuel cell bus to be spelled out in English. So people coming to the Games who speak English or English second language, because the majority of the world is, uses English, could readily read the name on the bus and realize some, there's something different about the bus and it would stand out to them. SORA stands for Sky, Ocean, River, and Air. It represents the Earth water cycle. There are several key improvements that I've talked about in this video that you'll notice. First of all, there is the horizontal seating that we talked about, additional room back there. Without that diesel engine, you can put those uh, better seat storage back there and also, like I said, you don't have the heat issue, so the buses will be cooler during the summer than it would be in a typical diesel-powered bus. There's also improved safety because there's a bus peripheral monitoring system. This has eight high-definition cameras fitted inside and outside the vehicle. It detects pedestrians and bicycles around the bus, provides a peripheral monitoring function that warns the driver with sound and images to improve safety. There's also acceleration control within the bus. And so what that allows passengers to do is to have a much smoother riding experience. There's not the lurching that you would get from like a gear shifting. 
what they've done is they've tweaked the acceleration to make it very smooth from stops. And so again, it's the safety of the standing passengers. It also uses technology to make it easier for passengers with strollers or wheelchairs to get on and off the bus. It uses a system that detects the guidance line on the road surface and then it uses automatic steering and deceleration to stop the bus within three to six centimeters of clearance from the bus stop. And so you know, it's kind of like parking assist, but for a bus. This bus uses fuel cells derived from Mirai and it's equipped with a high capacity external power supply system. So it's got a big battery in it, nine kilowatt maximum output electric supply of 235 kilowatts. If there's an emergency power need, it can still keep going. So it's 10,525 millimeters in length, 2,490 millimeters in width, and 3,340 millimeters in height. So it's basically just a bus. The capacity is 79 passengers with 22 seated, 56 standed, standing, and the driver. There's 10 high pressure hydrogen tanks in there. The tank internal volume is 600 liters. It's a nickel metal hydride battery type. And this works with the AC motor that has maximum output of 113 kilowatts with, by two units and maximum torque of 335 newton meters by two. In other words, it has 151 horsepower and 247 foot pounds of torque. All right, hopping off the bus is nice, flat loading floor. Uh, this is quite incredible, could be the next big thing. So hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check us out on pickuptrucktalk.com, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Type in Pickup Truck Talk, go find us, I guarantee it. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.